special poses. So in this uh, tutorial we're going to use some of the uh, things we've seen in the other tutorials about center of gravity, line of gravity, basis of support, so forth, to uh, look at a variety of uh, different poses. So here's uh, an example. The character is uh, carrying a heavy backpack. And we can tell that uh, it's a heavy backpack by the fact that the character has to lean forward in order to keep the combined total center of gravity of himself and the backpack uh, over his base of support. Uh, here's a similar example. Uh, one character is carrying another one. And uh, one thing we learn uh, from uh, this pose is that uh, Alex the lion and Marty the zebra uh, seem to have about the same weight because uh, Alex has to lean forward uh, to a significant angle in order to uh, keep their combined center of gravity, which is you know roughly in between them. Uh, if uh, Alex had a lot more weight, then his center of gravity would be um, the combined center of gravity would be closer to to him. But if they have a similar weight, then the uh, combined total center of gravity is about halfway between them. And it looks like the from the line of gravity uh, that's probably uh, what it is. Uh, here we see uh, two characters as well. Uh, they both have uh, at least uh, one, she has one foot on the ground, he has both feet on the ground. Uh, so they have a combined base of support, which is the perimeter around both of his feet and uh, her toe. Uh, and then they have a combined center of gravity, which is uh, located roughly between them if they have the same weight. It's a little bit closer to him if he weighs a little bit more. And then uh, that total center of gravity leads to a uh, center of pressure, which if this is a balanced pose, then um, it's inside of their combined base of support. Now, the if he uh, lets go, then she is not going to be in balance because it's um, uh, clear that her center of gravity is nowhere near her um, um, base of support of her toe. Uh, he's probably going to be okay if he uh, lets go of her. Um, uh, his center of pressure seems to be under uh, his base of support even without the contribution of, of hers. Uh, we see uh, from these uh, poses that the character, uh, the ball that this character is lifting, uh, must be a, a light ball, uh, something like a beach ball. So uh, uh, from these poses, the character doesn't really have to uh, lean to any significant uh, degree. And so here, in this last pose, she's holding the, the ball. And uh, the total center of gravity is uh, seems to be almost entirely due to her weight, that the weight of the ball is, is negligible. So we know that even if this character uh, was uh, extremely strong and able to hold a very heavy ball in her hands, uh, this would not be possible um, and maintaining balance because if the ball was very heavy then the um, combined uh, center of gravity would be shifted um, in front of her toes and um, she would be out of balance. Now in these poses indicate that the character is lifting a heavy water bottle so uh, in order to uh, keep the total center of gravity um, over her feet uh, she has to be uh, leaning back in, in these um, poses so um, something like uh, uh, like this fellow. Now even uh, without uh, lifting weights when we uh, bend over uh, it's not possible to simply um, 
bend straight uh, from the hips, we have to uh, move the hips um, backwards uh, because if uh, you simply um, bend directly from the hips then the center of gravity uh, will quickly be positioned uh, in front of your toes. So uh, if you want to touch your toes you need to uh, shift your uh, rear end um, backwards uh, as we see in, in these uh, illustrations. A more complicated example is um, uh, rising from a chair. So the character uh, rising from the chair eventually needs to have the center of gravity uh, just over their feet. Um, while they're in the chair, they have a, a base of support that includes the uh, part where they're in contact with the chair. But uh, as they're rising, uh, one thing that they can do is uh, increase the base of support by shifting uh, one foot um, under the chair. Uh, they also want to lean forward to bring the center of gravity uh, closer to uh, the perimeter around the feet. So you don't want to stand up in the chair by simply standing straight up, but you want to uh, lean forward. Uh, as the character continues to lean forward, if the chair has arms, they can extend their base of support by including the arms, in which case it's the perimeter around the feet and the hands. Um, but then uh, once the character is uh, standing, uh, again, it probably needs to be uh, leaning uh, forward uh, until the um, center of gravity is uh, well positioned uh, over the feet and then just transitions into a, into a walk. Now, having said this, it's possible to uh, rise from a chair and not have every single pose uh, be in balance. Uh, if you push uh, quickly enough, then you can rise out of the chair and uh, be out of balance, but uh, by the time you reach your, your apex, uh, you can be, um, uh, have your center of gravity uh, over your uh, feet, in which case you would not fall back down. However, if you don't um, rise quite uh, fast enough, then you could come up and then uh, fall back down. So the point is that um, uh, not every single uh, pose would necessarily have to be um, in balance. Now, uh, balance is rather difficult if you have a narrow base of support. For example, if you have uh, one foot in front of another, as in this uh, photo. And uh, in uh, cases like this, the natural thing to do is to uh, raise the arms to try to um, maintain balance. And uh, having the, the arms um, up uh, above the uh, on to the sides allows you to uh, quickly shift your center of gravity um, to keep it over the base of support just by um, moving your, your arms back and forth. We'll see more about uh, recovering balance by moving the arms in a, another tutorial. Uh, even uh, more difficult is uh, standing on just one foot because you have to make sure that the center of gravity is um, directly over that foot. So uh, in these examples, um, we see the characters uh, have to um, carefully control their pose, uh, using the arms, holding them to the side uh, helps. And in this um, uh, third case, it looks like this fellow actually is not in balance. Um, and that's why the, uh, the police have stopped him. Uh, here's another example of standing on one foot. Uh, if you are at the edge of a cliff and need to reach uh, forward as far as possible, well, uh, in order to um, extend uh, your arm as far past the edge as possible, uh, the natural thing to do is to um, lift one of the legs and stretch it uh, to the opposite side and uh, that helps um, keep the center of gravity over the 
uh, base of support, and then also lift up the other arm in order to make rapid adjustments to the uh, positioning of the center of gravity. And uh, you can analyze all sorts of different um, poses using these, these ideas. Uh, one example would be uh, defensive poses, uh, like we see with this character. So uh, defensive poses, typically the feet are wide apart to have a large base of support. Um, crouching uh, lowers the center of gravity and improves uh, stability, making it easier to um, keep the center of gravity over the base of support. Uh, holding the arms out allows for rapid shifts in the center of gravity. So all of these uh, different elements um, add to the uh, visual look that this is a um, very stable uh, pose. So uh, in summary, um, when a character is uh, trying to stay in balance while carrying a heavy weight, uh, they typically uh, lean in such a way as to keep the center of pressure inside the base of support. In other words, the center of gravity uh, above the base of support, so the line of gravity down from the center of gravity um, uh, touches the uh, base of inside the base of support. Uh, when one character holds another, then uh, we consider the two of them as, uh, say, a, um, as if it was a combined character, and uh, then we consider them to have a total center of gravity and a and a total base of support if they have um, multiple feet um, on the ground. Uh, raising the arms allows for quick repositioning of the center of pressure uh, in order to maintain uh, balance and uh, spreading the feet uh, wide apart increases the base of support and that um, uh, adds to a more uh, stable pose that's easy to keep in balance. So in the next few tutorials we're, we'll talk about uh, recovering balance and also the concept of dynamic balance, um, balance associated with uh, motion. So see you then.